What's fascinating about this WikiLeaks controversy is that we have to avoid it becoming a vast distraction, focusing on these so-called leaks instead of focusing on the abysmal lack of security safeguards by the executive branch of the U.S. government and making those who set up this poor system or who allowed it to be penetrated accountable. The distraction also is away from the lack of accountability for executive branch officials who suppress information. How many times have you seen those people prosecuted at the highest levels and the middle levels of government? The suppression of information has led to far more loss of life, jeopardization of American security, and all the other consequences that are now being attributed uh, to WikiLeaks and Julian Assange. A million Iraqis have died as a result of the invasion, 5,000 U.S. soldiers, 100,000 sick and injured and traumatized, a country blown apart, more violent opponents to our country, more national insecurity. We have to be very careful here that the Congress does not stampede itself by executive branch pressure to repeat the Patriot Act debacle. When this committee issued a pretty sound piece of legislation with hearings, bipartisan, and then was stampeded along with the rest of the Congress by Karl Rove and George W. Bush with this notorious Patriot Act. Stampeded legislation always comes back to haunt its authors. Furthermore, I'm very disturbed by the reaction of Attorney General Holder. I think he's reacting to political pressure, and he's, try he's starting to fix the law to meet the enforcement policy. And that's very dangerous. He said the other day, the national, quote, the national security of the United States has been put at risk. The lives of people who work for the American people have been put at risk. The American people themselves have been put at risk by these actions that are, I believe, arrogant, misguided, and ultimately not helpful in any way, end quote, referring to the WikiLeak disclosures via the New York Times and the Guardian and other uh, newspapers. Those very words could apply to the Bush administration and the Obama administration's military and foreign policy, that they have put us in greater...